many of them are in serious trouble with the IRS. You've seen the flood of TV commercials all, for all these tax resolution services. Uh, you know, that alone tells you that most of Americans are in some kind of tax trouble. And now, because of Joe, it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to talk about the abuses of the IRS. People are even now openly talking about, was the 16th Amendment actually ratified? Are the taxes illegal right from the start? I understand Jim Traficante, and by the way, please give him my highest regards when you have him on the show. He's talking about if he gets elected back to Congress, he wants to kick the IRS in a very sensitive portion of the genitalia. So, And I think most Americans are going to sign up with him on that. In your mind, is there any way this could have been an inside job? Because you know, we know they can remote control aircraft. Uh, we know that they were out there beforehand. Something was going on. Uh, we know the underwear bomber was staged. I mean, this is the season. I've been predicting an attack in Austin from mm -hmm. activities I've been seeing. They, they need to demonize the Tea Parties. They certainly jumped on this within three hours of it happening, and I predicted they wouldn't said the Tea Parties. I mean, here's the New York Daily News. Kamikaze pilot Joe Stack crashed plane into Austin building hailed by anti-government groups. And they say in here that I'm hailing it. Uh, Austin American statesman in an article, social media speeds up news gathering and plane crash aftermath says that i was hailing the attack I, I i was saying maybe staged or we don't know or i mean i mean so i'm being singled out here they're certainly trying to to, to put this on us well, they're putting it on you. They're putting it on Glenn Beck. They're putting it on me. They're putting it on Rush Limbaugh. They're looking to basically take the focus off the letter. As for the exact nature of it, uh, I'm 95 percent convinced it was a genuine, spontaneous act by this gentleman. Uh, if it was a false flag attack, it's a very poorly thought out one because the patsies that are supposed to be framed for it, it's not a very good case. And in, and in this case, back when the Oklahoma City bomb uh, went off and little kids were being killed, and everybody was shocked and said, oh, this is a terrible thing. They're not getting that reaction here. The attitude of most of America is, well, yeah, it's a bad thing, but, you know, maybe they sort of... But to be clear, you've done the research. Oklahoma City inside job, underwear mm -hmm. bomber inside job, 9-11 yep. inside job, Operation yep. Ajax inside job, Gulf of Tonkin mm -hmm. inside job, Operation Northwoods no, inside job. Gulf of, Tonkin, to Gulf of Tonkin was not an inside job. It was a deliberate misinterpretation of the available information. But that is still an inside job to say you've been attacked and it's made up as a pretext for war. What I'm saying is staged, staged provocation. Well, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of propaganda and a lot of lying and misstatement. You know, there were no torpedoes there. But in the case of yesterday's attack, I think they were trying to take something that happened genuinely and attempt to use it for propaganda purposes, um, and they didn't get the traction with it. It just doesn't feel like it was planned or known about ahead of time. They just tried to take advantage of it, and they didn't really get it to work. That's what it feels like to me. Let's bring Bob Chapman in. Bob, your comments on this. Well, first of all, I think it could, unfortunately, bring about other such events. And for all of you who are listening out there, please uh, keep your cool. Uh, talk to somebody about a problem. I mean, everybody out there has got problems now. Some are worse than others. Uh, I know it's uh, uh, compelling uh, when you lose everything you have, uh, but... We have a society that we shouldn't be running around killing ourselves. And, uh, and usually the only people that do that are people who become unbalanced, and there are reasons for that. But the point is, don't let this get you carried away. Uh, secondly, I, I, in the international forecaster, I guess it was two issues back, maybe three, and... I had a piece in there about Remington taking an order, and I can't remember how many. It was shotguns for, for the IRS. Yeah, the, these are sawed-off shotguns. Yeah. I mean, 14 inches is a sawed-off shotgun. And I think that the IRS obviously is terrified that, that people are going to react against them. Yeah, for those that don't and, know, a sawed-off is generally defensive, so people that don't know what they're doing can just aim in a general direction when you're getting rushed. Exactly, and uh, the legal limit on the shotgun barrel is 18, and that's what a riot gun is. Yeah, but so the IRS gets a, to have illegal shotguns. That's right. 
Well, it, it, it's obviously legal for them, but illegal for us. And like so often, we have two sets of rules. But I agree with uh, what Mike had to say, and uh, very well said. And you as well, Alex. And and uh, I think unless something else pops up, I think it was uh, a, 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 an act of utter frustration. Uh, what am I going to do? I work my whole life, and uh, I may as well make a statement. Well, here's the last that's question. What happened. Here's the last question I have for Mike Rivero, and then you. We're going to let Mike go, and we'll finish up with some economic news a little bit in the next hour, Bob. Mike, how do you see this unfolding? Because uh, undoubtedly there's teachers almost every day shooting principals or their students. There's violence. Cops are being caught robbing banks and raping people. I mean, statistically, crime, but also craziness is way up. And a lot of times it's by government because they're under stress, and a lot of them have a bullying psychology and you've got citizens being pressed and squeezed and driven into a corner. No doubt, just like if our government attacks Iran, we're not going to have to see stage terror. Iran will defend itself. It will be called terror. Just like as the government squeezes, they know they're going to force people to finally stand up, and they're going to call that terrorism. How do you see this unfolding, Mike Rivero? Fading away from the public consciousness, although Joe Stack is already sort of a cult hero uh, in a lot of places. He's got a lot of Facebook fan clubs springing up. There is nothing new with attacks against the IRS. Generally, they tend not to be reported, but because of the high visibility of the plane crash into the building and the subsequent release of the suicide note on the Internet, this one did get out there and it had to be dealt with. Uh, but there have been attacks against IRS facilities and people before, and no doubt it will continue into the future. I'm in agreement with your other guest you know this is not a call to arms to go out and start attacking the tax people because that would just give the government the justification it needs to suspend the bill of rights and really become the bullying dictators that they that we all know they secretly lust to be and i don't want that so, to happen but i think that'd be a miscalculation by the establishment as well i think them bringing the tyranny more out in the open and getting more confrontational will only make things blow up quicker so this is like a mexican standoff I agree with you. I mean, we have the saying around here, the fastest way to bring down a dictator is to force them to act like one where everybody can see it. I just don't want to see the kind of Kent State bloodshed, you know, that this kind of a process usually entails. Absolutely. Well, Mike, thanks for joining us. WhatReallyHappened.com is the great site. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks an awful lot. Look forward to it. All right. There goes Mike. Uh, anything else you want to add on the plane situation? I'll be recapping the latest developments in the next hour. I am open on this because I've been predicting an attack in Austin. Uh, I've seen Glenn Beck now come out and put on his little blackboard uh, slash magnet refrigerator board is really what it is, but it looks like a blackboard. Deborah Medina next to Van Jones. And, and he said, these people hate America. Then he did a weird psyop where he said, well, I'm in trouble in Texas with my listeners. He's lost 500,000 viewers conservatively, according to Nielsen. Uh, his radio numbers, uh, we'll find out later, uh, uh, earlier next month. Those come out once a month. Uh, but his websites, anywhere people can comment, he's being shredded everywhere. Uh, he, he does this basic psychology where he puts up a picture of a, uh, of Van Jones and then some other, uh, weatherman bombers next to him and then sticks Medina up. And, and, and then Alan Keyes, of all people, and says, these people are dangerous. They hate America. Uh, and, and he's not just saying 9-11 truthers are going to stage terror attacks. Uh, but he's now saying the birthers are the most dangerous. If these are the most dangerous, when in polls, that's more than half of registered Republicans. So he's like immolating. I guess that's the word for burning yourself up in front of everyone because he's been ordered to do it. So I And I see all the talking points demonizing Tea Partiers that they're going to commit terror acts by not just him, but Chris Matthews the last few weeks, and then this happens. I don't know, Bob. I don't know. Uh, uh, this may be staged. They have, they have psych warfare experts that new people are angry, may make him a hero. Uh, then, I mean, this, I don't, I think the jury's out on this. I'm saying we should look at everything, but I'm just not sure. But, but, but then the media quit covering it today. We know if it was staged, they'd be hyping it, but maybe it wasn't going like they wanted, so they pulled back. What do you think, Bob? I I, I think we've just got to wait and see. Uh, you know, uh, they're always looking for another horse vessel. Uh, he was the uh, young street tough 
who was in the brown shirts, shirts who was killed in clashes 